Oh boy, this is it, Zeus. We're finally on the train. Can you believe it? We're finally going to begin our new lives in Twinbark Town. As animal caretakers, no less, of a sanctuary. It is just, oh, it's just a dream job. I still can't believe that I was offered the position, and just everything about it sounds perfect. A brand new animal sanctuary just opened up. It's perfect for us. Hello, Siri. We are thrilled that you have accepted the job to become our animal caretaker at the Twinbark Town Animal Sanctuary. Twinbark Town has huge hopes for the sanctuary to become one of the best in the country, and with your help, I'm sure we will get there. You come very highly recommended, after all. As we mentioned in the application, the job is in our small town, but there are living quarters for you in the sanctuary easily big enough for you and your dog. The, you did mention he is a large one. I can't wait to meet him. We have not opened the rescue center yet since we are waiting on your arrival, but the villagers are taking care of a few of the rescued animals that have begun already showing up. Once you get settled in, I'll be happy to help you prepare the sanctuary so that we can begin our work of saving the lives of animals. I will meet you at the train station on the day of your arrival and give you a tour of your new home and welcome you to town. Sincerely, Mayor Timothy. <sighs> I'm really looking forward to this, Zeus. It's going to be hard, and, you know, we have to adjust to living in a whole new place, and working in an animal sanctuary is never easy. Sometimes things can be really sad, and it can be really hard to take care of all of the animals that kind of need trained and need to be cleaned up to find new homes. But that is really what I love doing. That is just my life's mission is to help take care of animals, and this will be such a fantastic opportunity. Uh, I just can't wait for us to get there. Oh, it feels so good to be off the train. That took forever. Man, when they said Twinbark Town was way out in the countryside, they really meant it. Oh, but we're here. Oh, and it's so cute. Look, oh my goodness, I think I see a little bird. And oh, it's a little mole way over in the distance. Oh, and the <gasps> and a little pigeon. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at it go. Look at it go. And there's apples. And Zeus, are you happy to be off the train too? Oh yeah, stretching those legs. And oh. Zeus, I think it's Mayor Timothy. All right, all right, are we ready? All right, I've still got my lunch. I was too nervous to eat it. The flowers I picked earlier, my luggage. Whew. All right, I think I look good. All right, we're, we're ready for this, Zeus. We're ready. All right. Hello, sir, are you are you Mayor Timothy? I am, uh, I'm Siri. I'm here to start working at the Animal Rescue Center. Hello, hello! Welcome to Twinbark Town. I'm Mayor Timothy. Though, really, everyone simply calls me Mayor Tim. You must be the new animal expert who is moving in to take care of our animal sanctuary. Yep, that's me. My name's Siri. Yes, yes, Siri. I remember now. You came quite highly recommended, you know. Several years of experience working in sanctuaries and even zoos. <laughs> Really, after working with tigers and lions, our little sanctuary may seem rather tame, but I do hope you'll like it here. Your letters of recommendation said you have a real passion for animals. <laughs> of course, I really, I love animals, like pretty much all of them, spiders even, you know, dogs, cats, lions, tigers. Uh, I'm just, I'm really excited to start helping, like, work at the sanctuary and just help all of the animals that come to the rescue center. I, I love animals. Wonderful! That is exactly the kind of youthful, energized spirit we are hoping to see here. Our town may be small, but we've put a lot of work and effort into building the sanctuary, so it is vital that we have someone who truly cares about its creatures in charge. Ah, and who is this? <laughs> this is my dog Zeus. He is a Merle Great Dane, so that means he has like this gray coat with the dark black spots, and he's got a little bit of brown around his muzzle, so he's not, you know, any particular, well, fancy coat breed, but, you know, my family's not big on that. We just really love our Great Danes, don't we, Zeus? Yes, we do, and I thought I would bring my best friend and my buddy with me when we came to move and start our life out here in Twinbark Town, and, well, yeah, th so this is, this is Zeus, the dog that I told you about, Mayor Timothy. What a magnificent dog! Why, he's almost as big as I am! You're quite the impressive figure, aren't you? He laughs and gives Zeus a playful pet on the head. 
Well, well, shall I show you two around the village a bit? There may not be much to Twinbark Town, but it is a happy place with kind people. Hopefully, once you two settle in, you'll be content to call it your home. Now, come along, I'll give you a little tour. Oh, um... Well, it's a, it's a really, it's a nice overgrown field, Mayor Timothy, um, uh, oh my, well, this is a bit embarrassing that one of the first things you see in town is this rundown farm, but back in its day it was actually quite impressive. We had a kind and hard-working farmer named Jack who helped bring prosperity to this little village with his excellent crops and helpful personality. He was always running around doing errands for the villagers and sharing his bounty. Ah, well, eventually old age catches up with us all. Oh, um, is that why I've, I've, I've seen some stray chickens running around in the forest over here? I mean, don't get me wrong, I love chickens, just, and I mean, I know this is the countryside, so I'm sure people just have chickens, like, wandering around all the time, but I, you know, normally they're in coops. So, I mean, if the farm isn't here anymore, then, I mean, I guess the chickens are still here? Oh, ho, ho, yes, yes, that'd be the reason. I'm afraid before we realized it, his animals had begun to stray away from the farm. They seemed quite happy to have settled in the fields and forest around town, but we do hope to gather them up in the future. That may actually be a job we ask of you, now that I think of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't mind, I, I don't mind chasing chickens. They're actually really cute, but I, I guess the farm's abandoned then? Well, Jack's children moved into the big city and weren't too interested in running this old farm, so it is as you see it today. Though really I can't blame them. There isn't much money in agriculture anymore. And that is why the town decided to invest in something a bit different instead, and we drew our funds together to build the Animal Rescue. Oh, wow. You mean the town built the Animal Rescue Center together? Hmm, oh yes. Well, we are a small town, so most all of the large decisions are decided by a community vote. We had a bit of money set aside to build something in the town to try to attract more business and maybe some new residents, and had a hard time deciding on what to build at first. A town has to keep growing or else it will become deserted and die off, after all, and we do love Twinbark. In the end, it was decided that we wanted to do something not only to help the town, but help others as well. And we built the Animal Sanctuary. Ah, speaking of which, we should get moving along and I'll show you to it. Oh, but before I forget... On this side of town is the train station, which you have already seen. We don't have too many trains stop by, but we do get daily deliveries and have a postman in town who will see to it that your mail is swiftly carried off to be delivered. Occasionally, salespeople or tourists will show up at the train station too. Unfortunately, since news of the animal rescue came up, it isn't uncommon for unban abandoned animals to show up at the train station as well. Wait, abandoned animals? People just leave their animals at the train station here? Yes, that is one of the sad parts of running the rescue, but a reality. People will put their animals on the train into town, so occasionally you'll find dogs or cats or other creatures just sitting at the station, lost and confused. It's heartbreaking, but at least they can make it safely this far, so we can put them in the rescue center and find them a good home one day. But don't worry, it isn't always as sad as that. And in the end, I suppose I'm happy they feel we have a safe place for the animals they can care for. At least it gives the animals a chance. There is a lovely little waterfall on this side of town. It doesn't really have a name, we just call it the Fishing Hole, but it is a charming place to spend a nice, relaxing afternoon. The fishing is quite good there too. If you ever have any luck with the fish, be sure to ask Tulia, one of our local villagers, for cooking tips. She cooks a delicious fish dinner.
and on this side of the town is also the entrance to the cave system. We aren't rich in the way of ores or minerals, but often villagers will enjoy carefully exploring the caves for fresh mushrooms or shiny stones. Do be careful if you want to enter the caves, though. Past the entrance, it can be rather dangerous. Now, we really should move on. My apologies. I'm a proud citizen and mayor, so you, you could say. So really, I could speak at length about all these places. <laughs> but we've got a job for you to do, so let's get moving. Oh, wow! What an awesome fire station! Oh, look, it looks like there's a little bell up there and everything! Oh my goodness! Oh, and there's little fire alarms! Oh, Zeus, that's so cool! Oh, Mayor Timothy, is this your fire station in town? Ah, uh, here we are. Finally, getting into the town proper. This would be our fire station. Quite the impressive building, wouldn't you say? Our fire station master, Chief Sean, keeps it in tip-top shape, even though it has been, well... To be honest, I can't even recall a time we've had a fire. But Sean always does a lot of work in town to make sure we are always prepared. He is also extremely handy with building and construction, too. It wouldn't be far-fetched to say that he helped to build the animal sanctuary almost entirely with his own two hands. I am sure he'll be happy to help you with any future expansions you may need as well. You never know what animals may arrive at your doorstep. Perhaps one day you'll even end up with elephants! <laughs> Wow, just look at the size of this tree. It's huge. This thing must be ancient. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, what, what it, oh, Zeus, buddy. Oh my gosh, isn't it so pretty? Oh, and what a cute little town. Oh my goodness. This is the town square where we host many of our annual festivals. We just finished celebrating the summer festival a few weeks ago. It was quite the experience. Some of the younger villagers got into an extremely exciting water balloon fight and took turns bashing watermelon open. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a few watermelon sprouts popping up in the bushes in a few weeks. He bursts out laughing and points to the area beyond the square. And over there are a few of the residential houses. The villagers who live there are quite friendly. Grandma Betty in one house and Miss Tulia and her family in another. So do feel free to stop by to introduce yourself any time. Oh wow, Zeus, you know, for a small town, this is this is a really nice little street of shops. I mean, it's really well laid out and oh it's pretty cute and, and Zeus 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 I think I think that's a flower shop. Oh, that would be so exciting. I love gardening. I love plants. Oh, oh um pardon me, Mayor Timothy. <laughs> Just getting a little bit excited, but so um what is this part of town? Although we are a small town, we do boast several very nice shops. Down this street, you can find the florist, reading cafe, and grocery store. They're really, they're so charming looking. The whole town, I mean, the more I see of it, just the happier I am. Because it's, it's all just, it's, I hope this, like, doesn't sound wrong, but it's so cute. I just can't wait to start looking around some more. And these shops are just, oh, like I said, they're so charming. I, and I can, I can kind of tell by their names, but what do they, do they sell anything in particular or anything special for the town? Ah, the florist shop sells lovely local flowers as well as useful seeds for growing your own vegetable garden. Gardening is quite a popular pastime in the village. We even have competitions from time to time, which you are more than welcome to enter. The cafe is run by a young pair of siblings who moved in a year or so ago. It is quite a nice little place to stop by for a cup of tea or some fresh cookies, as well as some interesting used books for sale. I do believe that Apple, the younger sister, has been trying to establish a reading club as well. Ah, and the grocery store, one of the oldest shops in town. The grocer there is quite a nice man, if a little rough around the edges at times. He takes pride in selling only the freshest of products. He and his wife prepare quite a bit of the food that is sold there too. Oh, 
Oh, um, this building, uh, well, um, wow, there's a lot of cobwebs inside there. Uh, looks, looks like it's been kind of abandoned for a little while, but, oh, um, pardon me, Mayor, um, so where are we now? Ah, oh, dear, and here we have another example of how our little town has struggled to survive in recent years. This is our town library, though I'm afraid it's been boarded up for quite a few years now. Our librarian moved away, and we've yet to find someone to fill the position. Though, hopefully, with all the tourism and traffic that the Animal Rescue Center will bring, we may find someone who is interested in moving back in. Oh wow, these are these are some really nice houses here. Oh, the the whole town is just it's just laid out so nicely and it's all just so charming. And, oh, they're good, there's Zeus. Um but yeah, where are we now, Mayor Timothy? Ah, uh, yes, this would be where my house is located. If you ever need anything, never hesitate to stop by and ask me for help. As I said, I'm a proud mayor to our town, and it is both my job and my joy to do whatever I can to see that our small town and all of the villagers in it prosper. Ah, and there's our postman, Jason. Let's go say hello and introduce you, shall we? Um, hello, it's it's very nice to meet you, Jason. I'm Siri, um, I'm sure, but, you know, the mayor just introduced us, and, well, yes, it's very nice to meet you. Why, hello there. Very nice to meet you. My name is Jason. I'm the postman of Twinbark Town. Well, and the postman for several other villages around here, too. The town isn't quite big enough to need a full-time postman, but isn't it a charming place? <laughs> Though, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> so you must be the new animal caretaker for the sanctuary the mayor had built. <laughs> yep, that's me. My name is Siri. It's very nice to meet you, sir. Wonderful! I can't wait to see what work you get up to over there in the sanctuary. After all, it's huge! I can't imagine what it will be like once it starts filling up with all those dogs and cats and hamsters. Hey, do you think you'll be able to take care of snakes and horses, too? The mayor built that place to be huge, so I imagine you could probably fit a whole herd of elephants in there. <laughs> Well, dinner is probably almost done, so I should go back in, but stop by any time to meet the rest of the family, please. My wife Harmony would appreciate the company. I'm gone most of the time, delivering mail in other villages, so she's alone with our toddler terror most of the time. <laughs> Though I joke, he's a great kid. Just going through that age. Anyway, I'll see you two later. Good to see you, Mayor. Thank you. It's very nice to meet you too, Jason. I'll be sure to stop by. I, I think I see your wife in there. Oh, I can see she's preparing dinner. Yeah, I'll be sure to stop by and introduce myself to her sometime. So Harmony. Harmony is her name. Uh, but yes, thank you very much. Very nice to meet you. We won't hold you up for dinner. Um, um Mr. Mayor? Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Terry is quite the busy man, so it isn't often we see him in town lately. You can rest assured, though, that any packages you have will quickly be delivered by him. He is off with the daily delivery train and is very good at his job. Now, shall we finally go and see your new home? Oh my gosh, Mayor, this place, this place looks absolutely amazing! Here we are, the town's new pride and joy. Twin Bark Town Animal Rescue and Sanctuary. Oh my gosh, Zeus, look at this place, it's huge! Oh my goodness, oh my gosh, look, there's the pet playroom, a small animal room, an aviary outbuilding, oh my goodness, and there's like, couches right here for people to sit down on the waiting room oh think about all the <gasps> there's wall space we could put pictures of the adopted animals up on the wall zeus oh and places where we could maybe maybe we could be able to sell a few things like some some pet toys uh i could i could hand make some pet toys and we could sell them to try to help fund the, the entire sanctuary <gasps> there's even an exam room oh my goodness look in there are the dog kennels and there's an upstairs too <gasps> 
This place is huge. It's just, oh my goodness, Mayor Timothy. Wow, you guys have really outdone yourselves. Mayor, I, I really love this place. Oh my goodness. So, Siri, what do you think? <laughs> This this place is just, it's huge, Mayor. I mean, there's enough room here. I feel like we could host just so many people, so many potential adoptive parents of all the animals we're going to bring in and rescue. This is, this is so exciting. Ho, 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 yes it is, isn't it? When we were planning the sanctuary, we decided we wanted to do our best to help as many animals as possible. There's enough room here to house dozens of dogs and cats, as well as a special room for small mammals and an outdoor aviary for domestic birds. We also have quite a large barn in the back for farm animals. Quite a few old horses need somewhere to go to spend out their elderly years, after all. I'm hoping the sanctuary can fill that role, though we've got a lot of work to do on the barn before we can take in too many animals there. Oh my goodness, so dogs, cats, horses, uh, are there any other animals we might be expecting here? I knew you were going to run a large sanctuary, but this, this is beyond my wildest dreams, Mare. Ah, uh, yes. Well, we figured since we were so far out in the countryside, this would be the perfect place to host a small wildlife rescue as well. We have one small pen already built in the back to hold, say, wild deer or a wild pig, as well as lots of space to build in once we figure out what animals may be regulars here at the rescue. That is amazing, Mayor. There's just, there's so much here. I just, I can't wait to get started. I can't wait to look around. I mean, just the idea of how many cats and dogs and all of the animals we could bring here and clean up and make happy and find good homes. Oh, Mayor, there's just so much here. It's amazing. I'm so glad to hear you say that. We worked hard on setting this place up and we're quite excited to see your work as the animals begin coming in. Though, of course, we'll give you a few days to settle in before announcing the grand opening and accepting new animals. Now, my goodness, it has gotten quite late, hasn't it? Well, I'll leave you and Zeus to get settled in. Your apartment is up those stairs there and to the left. Hopefully you'll find it suitable, though do let me know if you need anything. When you are ready, why not meet me in the morning so we can go over to the sanctuary, go, go over the sanctuary itself. <laughs> oh, well, I really want to ask you so many more things, but, but it is getting kind of late, and my goodness, I mean, we had such a big tour of the village, it was, there was quite a lot to see, even though the town's not too big, but, all right. Yes, thank you so much, Mayor. I'll see you tomorrow. Wonderful! I'll see you tomorrow morning, then. Just pop by my house when you're ready and we'll go over the final details. Ah, <sighs> so we're here. We're finally here, Zeus. We're in the sanctuary and oh my goodness, it's just... It's beautiful! I- Oh, Zoom, my big boy! Who's my big boy? I know! We're here! We're here! We're here! Here is where we're going to start our new lives! We're gonna be able to- Oh, look at the kennels! Oh, there's plenty of room! Oh my gosh, there's a dog play yard! Oh my goodness, this is- this is gonna be amazing, Zeus! We're gonna be able to help out so many animals and just- just think about it! Oh, here's where we can set up a good computer and we can kind of- Oh, just think all the people coming in and we'll be able to like fill out the forms and be like, Yes, you have successfully adopted this adorable kitten and then they can- they can head on out and we'll be able to put pictures of the successful adoptions up on the walls. Oh, wow. I mean, there's a playroom we can set up so people can play with their new animals and there's a little waiting room and and there's just going to be so much to do, Zeus. This is going to be fantastic. Oh my gosh, but the mayor's right. I'm actually I'm actually pretty exhausted. So, oh, we'll have a lot of time in the morning to be able to go over the entire sanctuary with the mayor and be able to see what it has to offer. So for now, let's go upstairs and check out our new room, Zeus. All right, so he said up the stairs and to the left. Oh, to the left. Oh, look at this. It's just, there you are, buddy. Come on, come on in. Oh, what's uh, what's across the hall? Let's see. Whoops. All right, let's see. The, the cat room and the small animal upper levels. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look, and you can see over the playroom from here. Oh, wow. Zeus, careful there, buddy. This place is amazing. So this is going to be where our personal apartments are. Oh, there's a little dog bed. Um, they'd fit most dogs, but not you, Zeus. Not you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And, oh, nice little table to sit down and eat at. There's a little, little, just little like, cabinets. Oh, 
a nice little crafting table, good like, sink, I've got a nice oven. Oh, this will be, oh look, and there's a little, oh, is there any dirt in here? Oh, there is, I can put my little daisy in there that I picked earlier, oh, that's perfect. Already we're being able to, like, we're adding a, some home style touches, huh, Zeus? Let's see, can I, can I put my chocolate milk in my little sandwich? Ah, oh, wonderful. I didn't end up eating them today, but we'll eat them tomorrow, so this must be, like, our little kitchen and dining area. Um, oh wow, look, you can see the town from here. Look at the beautiful setting sun and the fountain. So that must be one of the houses. And I think that's the side of the grocer shop over there. Oh, it'll be really fun to go and meet everybody over there. And I think, oh nice, so this is like a little office. Oh, it even has a computer set up for us, good. I'm gonna need to do like a lot of website work and a lot of computer work to make sure that the adoptions receive the maximum publicity that they can, Zeus. So let's see. All right. Oh, okay. So I guess I'm just gonna. There we go. Oh wow. It's kind of nice how like personal that feels as soon as we close the doors. So <gasps> Zeus, look at this. It's our bedroom. Oh, it looks so awesome. We've got some beautiful chest and shelves. Oh, I can put my little my little flowers up on the shelves. Do you want to come in, buddy? Oh, he's such a big dog. And then we've got a beautiful little desk. Oh, and a water and bowl and a food dish already set out for you and. Zeus, I'll, I'll get you a sofa. You can sleep on a sofa. I'll move a sofa into the room so you can sleep on a sofa instead. Because I don't think the dog bed is going to fit you by any means. Oh, we've got a nice little closet over here. And a nice bed. Oh, this is, this is really nice. All right, well, why don't we go ahead and let's unpack some of our luggage. And I think I'll, I'll see if I can maybe find you a sofa to lay on instead, buddy. And then, whew, well, I guess it's time for us to call it a night. And then in the morning... In the morning, we'll be able to meet with the mayor, and maybe we'll even start being able to discuss bringing some of the animals here that we can rescue and take care of and get ready to be adopted out. Oh, I just can't wait exploring it to like explore everything. It's going to be awesome. But all right, Zeus, let's get some sleep for now, and I will see you in the morning.